We are joined here by Julia Bolin, a 2012 uh, Symmetra Tour rookie from Temworth, Australia. So Julia, just run us through your season so far. We're almost uh, halfway through. This is the eighth event. Um, I guess just how your expectations of the tour, how tour life's been going. Just give us the rundown and what uh, else you're looking forward to the rest of the season. Uh, well, we're halfway through, as you just said, and I'm really enjoying the tour. It's certainly been a great experience, and uh, I've really enjoyed getting to know a lot of the players and the tour staff. So uh, off the course, it's been a lot of fun, and on the course, I'm learning so much more than I ever expected to learn in my rookie year. I've had some good finishes, and um, I'm just hoping to sort of solidify my position as I go through the rest of the season. Great. All right, we're going to run through some golf things. So one short-term goal you had for this year and one long-term goal. Um, Short-term goal is to continue each week uh, with the steps and implementing the plan that my coach and I and the rest of my team have around me. And uh, long-term goal is, I think like all the players out here, is to get on the LPGA. Great. What about a, your biggest accomplishment to date in your golf career? Uh, biggest accomplishment to date in my golf career? Uh, I'm really thankful to be on tour. There, there's some championships that I won as amateur, but I'm really grateful to be on tour and I think be competing out here in my rookie year, and I hope to continue that throughout the rest of the season. Any specific preparations you had for your rookie season, kind of going in, anything different, turning pro? Uh, I thought that it would be the same because it's 14 clubs as an amateur, 14 clubs as a pro, but um, I've learned that I've got to be an accountant, I've got to be a tax specialist, I've got to learn all this stuff about visas. So there's a whole other management side to golf that I didn't probably know that much about. Great. What about your favorite golf drill? Practice My favorite drill. golf practice drill. I like doing a lot of hip to hip work and just working on the impact zone because that's obviously going to be important throughout the entire golf game. Great. What about the biggest challenge that you've come across this season and how you've kind of tackled that? Uh, biggest challenge is probably dealing with my expectations because uh, anyone who wants to be successful in any field obviously has huge goals and so trying to have those goals and work towards those goals but when you uh, don't make them or you don't achieve them every week um, looking looking at uh, your mistakes and not being uh, not allowing that to affect your confidence but learning from it great are there any uh, fellow players, LPGA, PGA, that you've always looked up to or kind of emulate? As an Aussie, I think we're all going to say Kari Webb, um, seven-time major winner, and just the way she went on. Um, my favorite golfing moment is when she won the Craft Nabisco. So I'm um, holding out with that 9-iron and beating Lorena. I think she was nine shots back going into the last nine, so that's uh, that's my favorite golfing memory. Great. What's your, who's your favorite person to play a round of golf with? Um, I've been fortunate to play with Carrie quite a few times, and I love I love playing with her, um, and I love playing with my dad when I get the opportunity to when I go home. Great. What about your favorite part of tournament day? The competition, just just getting your teeth in there. I love that. Right. What about your favorite course you've ever played? St Andrews, hands down. Cool. All right, we're gonna touch a little bit on some traveling since obviously you guys are all over the place traveling all season long. What is your favorite place you've ever traveled to, golf or vacation? <sighs> I really, I love America, I do. I, I've traveled throughout Europe and I enjoyed that and I enjoyed the culture, but I, I've really enjoyed traveling throughout America and uh, just recently I got to go to Niagara Falls and that was awesome. Very cool. All right, in the airport bookstore, which are you most likely to buy? People Magazine and Us Weekly, a Newsweek or The Economist, Cosmopolitan or Marie Claire, Sports Illustrated or ESPN or a New York Times bestseller book? Bestseller book. All right. What about three things in your suitcase that you have at every tournament? Uh, I always have my Bible, I always have my iPad, and I always have my Aggie ring. Awesome. What about uh, your biggest pet peeve of traveling? Things that really get under your skin? Uh, biggest pet peeve of traveling? Having to pay for petrol. Whose idea was that? <laughs> All right. What about uh, your best travel tip you can give to someone who's maybe going on a long road trip? Um, download some really good apps and uh, audio books. I've, uh, I've listened to the entire Chronicles of Narnia um, so far. <laughs> That's great. All right. And what about when you retire? What's something that you'd want to do that you were maybe not necessarily able to do as a touring professional? Uh, I really would like to, uh, my, my parents do mission work in Africa and I'd love to go over there and visit them and uh, see what that's all about. Very cool. Okay, now some quick things. This or that, Coke or Pepsi? Pepsi Max. Right. Aisle or window seat on a plane? Uh, window. Okay. Crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Crunchy. Easy. White or wheat bread? Wheat. Right. Book or a movie? Ooh, both. 
Coffee or tea? Coffee. All right, or Mac or PC? Uh, Mac. All right, well, that's it. You survived. All right, and good luck the rest of the season. Thanks for joining us, Julia. Thank you.